what is going on guys it's asylum today i'm going to be showing you how to use voice meter banana as well as separate the two audio channels that are coming in from your audio interface whether it being the scarlet solo scarlet 2i2 it really doesn't matter the same basic steps apply there's an xlr input for channel one and a quarter inch input for channel two and now by default they are merged into one channel by the time it comes into the computer so you are not able to manage those two audio devices separately which was a problem for me when say i'm trying to have music coming in on that second input and i was not able to manage the volumes separate from my mic or say i wanted to get audio from my xbox into my interface and again, I could not change those volumes. Um, I didn't have much control over that. So today that's what I'm going to show you how to do. That is to separate them and control them independently. So you're going to want to go and download Voice Meter Banana. It is free. It's on this website. I'll leave the link in the description. So after you download Voice Meter Banana, you're going to want to come over here and get the virtual audio cables. And now they have two free versions. You're going to want to download those. There are two more that you can unlock by donating. I do have these. You do not need them. Uh, they just help me a lot for what I'm trying to do. So once you have these two audio cables, restart your computer and come back. So once you come back and you have your computer restarted with those, with those new audio cables installed, you should see them in the playback and recording section, these two right here and these two right here and now you should also see the voice meter aux and voice meter output so what you're going to want to do is set your output device to the speakers or headset you're currently listening to me on right now set those as your a1 out and you should be go to you should be you should be good to go from there so what we are going to do is um capture our microphone right now so my microphone I'm gonna have as hardware input one the program I'm going to use to capture this is um, Adobe Audition and now this is not a free software keep that in mind I will leave a link in the description on how to do something similar um, with audacity which is a free software the steps will be the same and I'll explain that a little bit more in a second. So on Audition, if you are using Audition like I am now, you're going to go to Preferences and Hardware, Audio Hardware. Your default input, you're going to want to set to your audio interface. And your default output, you're going to want to choose um, one of these new virtual cables that you just installed. I am using um, Hi-Fi cable input you can use cable input either or it doesn't matter just remember which one you set your mic to so I have mine set to hi-fi cable input I'm going to click OK and I am going to um, make a new mix track session just call it just OK I already have something named that we will just make it two so what you're gonna wanna do is drag this down and your input device you're going to want to choose mono and now this is very important you want mono because you only want that left side channel which is your input one your mono one channel once you take that come down here to your output and select mono and cable input one now make sure that these are both sent to one it'll make it easier when you're trying to organize it later on if they're both set to the first channel you're going to want to come over here and click record and click on monitor input and now at this point you should see volumes in audition now you won't be able to hear yourself quite yet and that's just fine so we are done in this program for now we are going to come over here on hardware input by default you will have no selected device and as you can assume we are going to select that high thigh cable output the one when we are just using in audition select that and you should see audio start coming into this track and by default you will have none of this selected 
So like I said, it is recording on one mono, not stereo. So we're going to want to force mono and duplicate mono to both sides. So in your headset, you can hear it normally. It's not on one side or anything like that. It's going to sound perfectly fine by forcing mono. And now to get that second input on your Scarlet Solo or whatever interface you are using, you're going to want to use another audio monitoring software. And now since Adobe Audition, you cannot open multiple instances, you're going to need another software. I'm going to be using Ableton. And again, this is not a free software. I will leave a link to the description for a video that describes how to monitor input with Audacity. The steps are very similar, okay? Just remember to select your input and output device as the same as I'm doing here. So I'm just going to get rid of these channels just to clean it up a bit. You're going to go to Options and Preferences. Make sure you're under the Audio tab and Audio Input. You're going to want to keep it as your Focusrite USB interface. Now your Audio Output channel is going to be whatever channel you did not use for your mic. So mine would be the normal cable input, as you can see right here. So I'm going to close out of that, go over to the audio channel one, audio from external in channel. You're going to want to set that to channel two, because remember channel one is the microphone that we are currently grabbing right now. So if I choose that and you can see as I talk, you are, we are capturing the audio from my mic and that's not what we want to do. We want to capture from that second input device. And so if I just tap the, the thing just to show you that it is currently picking up that second input. And now I'm just touching my, my finger on the cable just to show some interference so you can get an idea. We are going to want to set the monitor to in so we can monitor it live the audio we are going to set it to external out and again select that for channel 2 we want to keep these the same that's very important so once we have this set up we're going to want to minimize out of this and come back to voice meter banana so our hardware input 1 is our microphone hardware input 2 is going to be our second input device from our Focusrite interface so again, by default, you're gonna, not going to have any of these ticked, and I'll go over what these mean in just a second. So hardware input, we are going to use that cable output that we just used in this software. And remember, it is whatever one we are not using by our microphone. Okay. So select that as your cable output or whatever you set your um, output to in this software. Okay. And at this point, I'm going to explain what these buttons do. Okay, so A1 is your output one. You can have up to three outputs. So any of these you can have is output two, output three. Remember, we have our output one as our headset. So if you tick this, this is going to send the live audio from my mic to my headset. I'm not going to do that because the delay is going to mess me up. But again, A2 is going to send it to the output two, A3. And now the B1 and B2 are a little different because these are the virtual buses that you're going to see over here. And I will describe them in just a second. Um, hardware input three is going to be whatever you want to use. You can set up Discord so you can manage Discord voice separately or um, music. You can have music on this channel as well. And I'll show you how to set that up in just a second. But first of all, we are going to look at the voice meter VAIO. We are going to set that as our default playback device for Windows. So any, any audio that is going to come through Windows is going to be set to the voice meter input. Set that as your default device. Click OK. And now this is going to be what your game is being recorded on. And again, these will not be ticked. So this is important. You're going to want to take your headset so you can actually hear what the game um, and anything else that you have playing through Windows. So this is going to be your gear game, ca your game sound. Make sure that's ticked to your headset. And the voice meter auxiliary is going to actually be the input for OBS. 
and I will show you that right now. I have it set up a little bit differently, but this is how you're going to want to do it. You're going to want to disable everything except a mic auxiliary audio device and set a voice meter auxiliary output. That is going to be everything um, that is coming from this program right here. So we're going to minimize that for now. And as you can tell, we do not have anything live right now. That's because we have not sent any of these audio inputs anywhere yet. So this is virtual this is a virtual bus one this is a virtual bus two so that means if you want stream to be able to hear your microphone you're going to have to select b2 that's routing your microphone audio straight into the voice meter auxiliary so if we go back and look at obs we can see that my mic is currently being picked up and that's because it is routed to the voice meter auxiliary that applies for this input as well. So say you have music playing from your phone or you have um, Xbox or PS4 audio, you're gonna wanna send that to the stream as well and the stream will be able to pick that up. And if you wanna be able to listen to any of these devices, you're gonna have to select the A1. I'm not gonna do that for mic because that'll mess me up. But if you wanna hear the game or music from your phone, make sure A1 is selected. And remember to make this mono as well because that's being recorded on the right on the right track. So at this point you should have everything set up to get the two separate devices, the two separate inputs, I'm sorry, um, managed and be able to control the volume separately through OBS. And now at this point, you're gonna have their game audio right here you're going to want to send that to the stream as well because remember this is the windows sound this is not being sent to the stream quite yet until you tick this b2 now once you have b2 selected on all of these devices right here hardware input one hardware input two and vir voice meter vaio all audio should be fine and now if you want to be able to control music volume separately you're going to want to assign music to this channel or say you want discord to be managed separately you're going to want to set discord output to this as well so i'll show you how to do this right now as i said i do have those um extra cables i'm pretty sure you can get a free version of the virtual audio cables and it should work the same way um but i'm going to be using um, these cables right here. So for example, I'm going to be using Spotify All right, so let's bring this down So I'm just going to play a short little clip right there. Okay, and Right now as you can tell if I play it it is being picked up by the Windows um, Default right so that's your VIAO Let's pause that and there's this other program you're going to want to download. It's called Audio Router. You're going to want to run that. And this lists audio, all, all your programs that are currently have audio. So you can send Spotify to the, the virtual input right here. That's cable B. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on this down arrow and click route. Select cable input B and soft routing. It just works better if you take soft routing. I don't really know what it's about or what it does, but I've noticed that it works better. So click OK, and as you can see, route pending, and that is because we currently do not have any audio playing on this program. So once I click play, you'll notice it pops down here, and these two channels are being routed together, and you should not be able to hear anything at this point because we did not set this to monitor to our headset, our output yet. So to be able to hear the music, select A1 to send it to stream, select B2. If you just want audio to go to stream, uncheck A1 and you'll only have this music being sent to stream or vice versa. You wanna hear the music and you don't want stream to share music, you just deselect B2 and select A1. And this about covers the tutorial for Voice Meter Banana and how to separate the audio inputs on your interface and be sure to check the description for all the programs and links I used in this video 
If this helped you, give it a thumbs up, share it to your friends. Um, and as always, I hope you enjoyed.